Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today, and today um, we're going to be unboxing something that I've had in the box for quite a while, and I've not actually got around to actually giving this one to Kyle. Um, I've been sorting out a lot of his collection, and I think now it's at the time where he can have this one. So I've got this one back in November 2017, and uh, it is quite a rare um, Hoover actually. So I've uh, been looking for one of these for quite a while actually, and one turned up, you know, around November, like they always do, oh, no. and uh, purchased it. So yeah, yeah, rip that one up. We won't see any of that, do we? We won't see this. So this one has been um, so far, some of you was selling some of his collection, or what, what he's acquired over the years. Off over, so uh, we have a nice green bag there. Ah, let me gentle that. I'm trying to... Right, so I'll, I'll give you a hand with this now. So I'll stop this and get this one open. Unless you can just rip it. We don't want to put scissors in there, do we? We don't want to scratch the paint on it. So it is. Well, I've given Carl hands to actually get this out, so uh, he has got a bit of a code. Hooray. So there's the handle. It's in like a... This one I have cut all the tape off. Um, he did wrap it exceptionally well, like he normally does. Who did this actually come from? Um, I don't really want to say too much. But they'll know anyway. People know. So, uh, this is one of his older machines. Oh, that... oh, oh, oh. So yeah, I've got a paper bag. The zip is jammed on there at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to... I think uh, give us a spare paper bag. So I'm going to have to look at that. You give us a spare paper bag. Yeah. So this was a fairly expensive machine, actually. Yeah. But yeah. not... But, but for expensive for us, but not expensive for everybody, you know. So uh, we'll get Who's this that? one out now. Oh, look. It's got a black plug on it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find a nice white one for that. Um, I prefer the white plugs on them. So it has got a okay, no. ripped you cable. You it is a like a greeny colour. Yeah, those scissors are pathetic, aren't they? When we go to when we go to the shop again, we'll get some new scissors, mate. Yeah. They are we absolutely. Don't, we don't want to cut the cable on that. Yeah. So just hold it up. So we'll get the Hello, around. One. Yes, because we've had such a bad Rainy. couple of days in the weather wise. This is the time of year people start getting flus and stuff because of the the changing in the weather, isn't it? I mean one day it was sunny, then it was hot, then it was raining, then it was cold. And it's uh that kind of green. So get that one open, mate. I'm gonna snip the rest of it. It's a nice half green. So this is actually part of a sixties colour scheme. This is part of the Swedish green, and I'll have to get this right this time. Scott. Smoked pine. Yeah. Not Scott pine, it's no, smoked pine. No, smoked pine. I don't know, quite often I think one thing and say the other on videos, it's just the way that I am on videos. Um, quite often I can't reshoot the bit or I don't realise it's done, but on an unboxing it's quite difficult because you can't really put them back, back in the box again. So I've actually cut the video and to actually um Let's see the cable through there. Right, now we'll turn this upside well, down. I'll, I'll see the cable through there first. Oh right, yeah. And I'll, I'll give you a hand here. Snipping this out like that. And then we'll cut these, the cable anyway. Because these scissors are, are absolutely rubbish. Yes. Yeah, so oh, be a bison. Yeah, so we're not worried about that. We can I, clean that off. Now we don't want to beat about it like silver. Yeah, you can do that. You just you wire brush them back. So that's all 
Handle release is one thing that we have to look at to oh. see if that's working. Yeah, that's locked in. Oh, look, it's got this kind of shine. Yeah, so what colour is this one then? So what we'll do now, we'll get this one built up off camera. Um, and we'll see how this old uh, vacuum works. And have a quick, a little close up of it as well. No, we've we'll given this one a quick test. Carl's just going to switch it on now before we I show it a bit closer. It's not sounding 100%. But I think the bearings are dry in there. So, and the uh, handle needs to work in. It is. You put it down even lower. Can do, yeah. You don't want to do it, look. Like. Yeah, it will do. Yeah, it does on that one there. Yeah, that's as low as it goes. Let's so switch this one on quickly. <laughs> Uh, I've been going through Carl's collection now. I'm actually pretty much up to date with stuff now. So, we'll, um, so this will be the next one on the list of restoration. And my attitude is, well, you know. So this is quite, actually a, quite a rare version, actually, because this is the Swedish Green and Smoke Pine Hoover Junior from the 1960s. Um, this one wasn't out very long. Um, if any of you can remember, um, going back, I think 2016, when we showed Cole's um, hop green version of the Junior, which was absolutely in cracking condition. This one has got a few little marks on it, but it is the rare, I mean, there's little scratches on it, but the handle's overall in good condition. Um, so it's not sounding 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Actually, I'm quite happy. Because then now I can actually strip it all down, um, grease everything back up, touch up the brush roll, um, polish the machine up. You know, there was a bit of dust coming out the bag, so we didn't wash the bag. We'll just we'll vacuum the bag out inside. <laughs> Put the old 21st century bag in it. So, uh, have a look under there. So, this is the there is the rating sticker or plate. Um, this is pre 1967 because it hasn't got the uh, the dating system. So this one was around 1965. Um, they also did a e model, which was a version which was a cross between this one and the hot green and the grey one. It's a little bit dusty. This one. Um, it is actually in cracking condition. There's no real scratches on it I mean we can polish this back up give it another polish um, like you say the bag is in cracking condition the bag is actually a little bit dry sits a bit dry on it but I found that with a lot of the 60s um, of this style of bag so with a bit of a I think um, Becca likes using beeswax we just use a pencil um, just to lubricate it so I'm going to run a pencil up and down it a few times and then if that doesn't work I'll have to get some beeswax or something on it just to make it run a bit better because so I'm really pleased with this one overall so we can actually do some work with this make it look nice again you know just bring it up to up to a like to what the standard that we're using at the moment and then uh, do another demo with it aren't we so what do you say now, Kyle? Bye for now, and please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8, and thank you very much for watching. Bye.